Following their smash hit sellout tour of the South Island earlier this year, Emma Newborn is here to tell us all about Sons of a Beep and Mel Parsons' North Island Woolshed tour. Welcome, Emma. Yes, welcome, Emma. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. No, thank you for having me. I just want to get this clear. So, you, you created the show with your co star, Amelia Dunbar, mm -hmm. and you impersonate dogs. Yeah, it's a show based as the world through the eyes of these dogs. So, you're talking dogs? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, there's no humans involved. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> fascinating. Yeah, it does. So I love the storyline, but I also love the billing information because it says to bring gum boots, it says tickets may be very limited, it says to bring a rug. Why is that? Yeah, we perform in wool sheds. Right. So we're touring around people's private farms and going in and transforming these incredible spaces into theatres. So actual okay. real wool sheds that are working during the yeah. day, there's sheep coming in and getting shorn, yeah. <laughs> and then you come in at night and do a show. Yeah, yeah. And the farmers must absolutely love it because it would be quite unique. They'd get right into it, wouldn't they, those that are yeah. helping you out? Yeah. And, and it's about, so um, this particular show is about two country dogs who go to the city. Mm -hmm. So it's the country point of view on, on the city, basically. So they, yeah, they And they would it. love it. And there must be quite different varying audience sizes too because some wool sheds would be much bigger than others. Yeah. And, so, you know, so some can hold up 200 people, others like only 100, so yeah. Some will really. be really flash, and I guess, do you ever rock up and there's still sheep and things around? That has happened a couple of times. Really? <laughs> yeah, and, and, and sometimes um, out the back, there'll be like, yeah, full pens, because they'll be sharing the next day, so there's 300 other guests at the show. Now, you and Amelia obviously created this together, so, mm -hmm. you know, what did you want to achieve when you set out and you thought, okay, this is what we're gonna do, we're gonna tour wool sheds, what was the message you were trying to get across? Uh, well, it sort of just kind of happened, really. So we've been doing this now for um, about five years. Yeah. Um, the first, this is this show is a sequel to the first show that we wrote, and originally I am a typical Aucklander and had never even been to the South Island. <laughs> that's terrible. I didn't I know, go to it in my twenties. It's terrible. So that's okay. It's, yeah. I did. To be fair, I'd lived overseas for a while. You know. No, it's not. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter. And I was like, I would really like to see the South Island and then Amelia told me about wool sheds and then it just sort of made perfect sense because the story we were telling was for farmers. So originally it was for us to have a good time and take our, <laughs> you know. See the South Island. Yeah, see the South <laughs> Island. But actually it's become much more than that. Um, and, and I feel really proud that we've sort of created this event that brings a community together and we're, we're, we're taking theatre and music to places that definitely yeah. don't normally have it. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to talk more about that in just a minute because it is, it's a fascinating story, just the whole community vibe. So we'll talk more very soon with Emma on that. We are back with a very talented Emma Newborn, who's the creator and star of the smash hit show Sons of a Beep. So it's true that you'd obviously never been to the South Island, so you're doing this tour so you can see, well, you started off doing it so you can see the South Island. <laughs> yeah. But it's quite special because there's you and Amelia doing the theatre comedy part of the show, but then you've got award-winning singer-songwriter <laughs> Mel Parsons on yeah. board. I mean, how did that all come about? Bit of a score, eh? Yeah, yeah. really good <laughs> yeah. score. She's incredible. <laughs> she is. Um, so Mel and Amelia grew up skiing together and um, when Amelia and I first started talking about how we could do this we, neither of us had ever toured anything before and she was like I know somebody who tours a lot and um, got on the phone to Mel and yeah the rest is history really. Because Mel's a very well-known country singer in fact I think she had the country song of the year for 2016 yep. she was a finalist in the Silver Folky, Scrolls. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Singer, yeah. Beautiful as well. So is it a musical or do you do it in separate parts? How does the show unfold? Because I'm fascinated the more you sit here and talk to me <laughs> yeah. about it. Yeah so it's a, like a, it's a really full night so yeah. um, People can come from about six o'clock. We have uh, a barbecue yeah. that sort of is run by the local school. So you have some dinner, grab a beer. Fundraiser. I love that. Yeah. Fundraiser. Yeah. yeah. And then Mel does a set. So she gets up. Um, and Jed Parsons, who's her cousin, uh, he's sort of our techie guy on the road. He also jumps up and does a couple of songs with her. Wow. And then there's a break. You can get another drink. And then and then Sons of a Beep is on. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds really... Fascinating. So you're kicking cheap poo out of the way as you're doing the show, essentially. Yeah. Um, you, because you're not a country girl at all, are you? You no. live in the sort of the heart of Auckland. Yeah. You're the custodian for, is it former government house at yeah, Auckland old University? Yeah, government house. Old government yeah. house. So you live there, but you've mm. also got a cat who lives there with you. Yes. Just sort of segueing off a bit here. Yeah, no, 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 this is fascinating, this. <laughs> so t tell me about your cat. He's quite special. This is, this is Governor Gray. And he showed up about almost three years ago. Um, this very, like, skin and bones, um, Burmese 
and he just decided he sort of waltzed on in and that was it and and within a week he kind of went from homeless to being the governor of Auckland again and uh, he He's got quite a following. He's got how it many, on social media. How Facebook. many has he got on his Facebook page? He's got almost 2,000. So. Wow. <laughs> More than you and I combined. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, um, unfortunately, I'm often neglecting his page. It, it could probably, you know, he could be a little bit more active, but, you know. Oh, we can go <laughs> around and look after how much else yeah. I've got I'm going to check on. out on Governor Gray. So, yeah. that's fascinating. So, you're spending your Auckland days at Government House as custodian, and then mm -hmm. you're kicking it around with farmers mm -hmm. on this tour. What a fascinating life you live. Yeah. <laughs> I can't yeah. wait to see it. <laughs> Sons of a Beeb and Mel Parsons are coming to a woolshed near you from next week until mid November. November. Go on, go and see it. It'll be something different. Tickets are limited, so make sure you check out Event Finder for dates and details. Thank you very yeah, much for thank coming you. in. Best of luck. Thank you.